All right, guys, here we go. Thank you, everybody, for being patient and giving me a minute. All right, we got 2019-2020 Upper Deck Series 1, 12-box case break number 02. Well, let's roll through the team owners over here. We got Anaheim Ram, Arizona Ram, Boston Wayno, one of the originators, Buffalo Craig, Calgary Archie, Carolina Henry, Chicago Greg, Colorado Men's, Columbus Spears, Dallas Caput, Edmonton, or Detroit going to Caput, Edmonton Hearn, Florida, London, Kings RBC, Minnesota, Stamir, MTL, Merv, Nash, Penzito, Dev's Tail, Isles going to Mitch, Range, Merv, Ottawa, Stevo, Vran Varega, Nomvragen. We got Flyers, JJ, Pitt, Rybone, Sharks, JPJ, Blues, Caput, Tampa Bay, Demetrios, Toronto, Merv, Couve, Mins, Vegas, uh, Ellie, Caps, Joe, Winnipeg, Frankie. Nico? Yes? Vancouver. Marty? Marty. Where? I can't see where you're... Vancouver. Uh, that's Mark Westerberg. Westerberger. You got that as Mark, right? You never know, Caputo. You might get a high gloss. A 101. This could be that weird Series 1, Series 2 mojo freak of nature that happens Caputo style. Caputo might have had to sit down with upper deck. said, yo, come here for a minute. <laughs> I'm uh, doing the break this weekend with Rob. And I want you to slip a few flyers in there. Don't worry, I'll act really surprised like I didn't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Energy. Tons of it. Who do you... Caputo. Caputo. Did I not say... Did I or did I not say... Caputo should have took the flyers. He might regret it. Did I say it? I think I did. It's, dude, when it's flyers for Caputo, it's flyers. We got a Connor Bunham and Toast Young Guns. Exclusives for JJ Connor Bunham and Toast. Clear cut. All 
I said it before the break. I said, you know, Caputo, he should have the flyers, right? <laughs> we got Young Guns, Connor Timmons. Sometimes you just got to ride the wave, Caput. Ride the wave. Connor Timmons. Caputo's like, that's all right. I did good. I, I'll give some love to someone else. It's all good. Brock the Beast Besser. Yeah, I will look for him. Next gen, PLD. And I'll get that caps one out later tonight. Get sloth. <clears throat> Is this ETC? Young Guns, Adam Fox. With the range. Who's got the range? That's Merv. We're going to have to find ETC. One in a thousand packs. Those are pretty good odds. <laughs> we got shooting stars. Ty Sagan. Blue. Oops, wrong. Wrong stack. My stacks have to be lined up. Energy, Brock Besser. We got a canvas, Pavel Buk Buchnevich, if that's how you say it. With the booch and the nay and the bitch. Red Wings, not bad, 19 bones, Hirose. Is that Kaput? That's Kaput. You know what? Kaput might have a run with the uh, Red Wings. Caputo, did you see that recap I did for you last night? Did you watch the recap? <laughs> I put all your cards in one pile, dude. I kept putting them to one side. I'm like, I'm going to show Caputo's cards, all of them at the end. Philippe Myers, Flyers. <clears throat> we got a 101. This should be a 101, right? Oh, no, 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 no. They have that retro thing in this, don't they? That's a cool pick of Carter Hart. Nice photography. Patrick Waugh. I forgot they have those special inserts. My bad. Sylvain? Yeah, last name. L-E-M-O-I-N-E. -E. It's right there on the sheet. I'm just joking, Colton. <laughs> <laughs> we got Synergy, Max Domi. Colty, yeah. can you close that door for the fan noise? Please? Dude, I had to. It was... Did I not tell Caputo? Carson Torwinski. You know what, though? Caputo transferred for JJ. He gave JJ a... Uh, he gave him a transfer vicarious... Actually, Capu I transferred to Caputo, and Caputo transferred to JJ. Eric Stahl. What's up, NKB? He does, dude. JJ's been struggling getting hits lately. We got a 
We gotta give him some hits. <laughs> we got Andre Sveznikov. Hey, but at the same time, JJ, when you buy a thousand teams, right? Like, it's gonna be expected at the same time. Patrick Kane. Like a lot of times people say, man, dude, you get stuff nonstop. And it's like, well, yeah, but then again, you know, the amount of teams I buy just upped my odds, you know. Zach Sension, Young Guns. Oh, thanks, NKB. I'm sorry. I didn't see you up there. Sometimes I miss the YouTube chat, bro. Sorry. Tall, dark, and handsome. Who do you have, Brandon, in this one? At least he got three, uh, JJ, at least you got three BOS cards in the, I think it was three BOS in the eight by tens finally. Chris Kreider, Jersey. Finally. I got to do some emailing tonight to the Jersey place. Get this lined up for tomorrow or Tuesday, the latest. We got Joey Decord. Young Gun Canvas with the Honda. I wouldn't say it made up for the fu uh, others totally yet, but it was good to get a little catch up going for sure. I can get my own 8x10 product made too. Libor Hayek, but that last case was a pretty good case, players wise. But I'd like to get my own case made product made too on that and he'll he'll do it for me we're just starting off with the jerseys first because uh right now it's gone down a little bit zon they're only like 69 right now 69 bucks but they'll probably start going back up again They were going for like 120 before the economy thing. Which I was kind of offended at that. I was like, ah, oh, this is offensive. 120, what? That's it? I ain't gonna sign no more 8 by 10s Oh, yeah, when I was the fastest skater, I beat Dylan Larkin's uh, record. Is this Penzito? Penzito with the Fabro. Young Guns, Dante. There you go, Pens, little Dante Fabro. What's happening, Fab? Ah, not much, bro. How are you? Shoot, Fab, you know, hanging in there. Bro, I I get it, bro, totally. Oh, man, Fab, it is what it is, you know? Bro, I, I get it. I totally get it. We got portraits, Brady Kachuk. Wayno, hoist the cup, Wayno. Ninety-five million goals.
And guess who? The Flyers, Carter Hart. And we got Young Guns, Joshy Brown, Florida. Shooting Stars Blue. Austin, Shostin, Matthews. Oh, he has a Sensation Sig? Nice. Oops, wrong pile, wrong pile. Hey, I'm assuming, Zon, you've been watching some National Treasures, I'm assuming. We got an exclusives to 100, Alex Kalorn, Tampa Bay. Alex is happy. I've had him on a couple fantasy teams. i got to log into the fantasy and see if they're going to do the playoffs or not. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl. Dude, I, I hear you, bro. Bro, are people just spending, maxing out the credit cards or what? We got Energy, Evgeny Malkin. Now, have you seen someone pay? Have you seen someone pay for the Pelicans all by themselves? Via Caputo transfer via to JJ. Connor Bunham and Toast for the Flyers again. You know, in all honesty, though, if you could get him, let's say that you had the, the capital to do it. If you buy... I don't know what a box is going for. But let's say you buy a box for 12000 and you open it. Chances of you getting a Zion is going to be slim to none. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could do it. But if you spent fifteen to 20000 on two four-box case breaks, and that's eight boxes versus one... It, your chances of getting Zion is drastically more. There's no doubt about it. That's the one thing that would make sense for a group break to do Zion. That would be the one time it made sense. Radic Faxa. Game used jersey for the Dow. Young Guns for BOS, Carson Kuhlman. This guy right here, he's pretty smooth, man. His ancestors are pretty smooth. I wonder how often Zion's getting pulled, though. Obviously, it's luck of the draw, but, you know, are you seeing him consistent, un consistent or... Does he have the Victor, uh, not Victor, but does he have the Kevin Fiala going on? Or We got uh, Elias Peterson or Pedersen. Oh, yeah, guys. Prison Baseball, I think, is coming out next week, you guys. Gaytan Haas, Young Guns. Yeah, I think Prison Baseball is coming out. James. Wait, what's the last name? Do you know? Tenaris. Yeah. James. My writing's pretty sick, bro. We got Next Generation. Charlie McAvoy. I just couldn't. I mean, unless I really had the capital, there's just no way I would... If I had tons of funds or something, 
Hell, I mean, if I was really well off, I would just buy cases of it. But then again, you're still... But you would have to be able to get the Pelicans like, hey, I want the Pelicans in the next four cases. Nico Sturm. Mini. Case break. But I've heard a lot of people come into the room saying, I'm, I've been watching NT and people losing a lot of money. They're buying cases at 14K. Uh, how much is a case? 14,000? TJ Oshie? Case of product. Young Gun Canvas, Connor the Cliff, Clifton. Uh, okay, guys, pay attention for me, please. Is that it? Is that it? Is that that? Think it's a McDavid? All right, well, I'm keeping the rest of the cards to the side. And uh, we're putting this. Oh, it might be the tribute one. Well, it's going in a loader, regardless. All right. So that's one that has the Patrick Waugh, the Connor, the Gretzky. Is that right? Or is that a true variation? Yeah, S1's on. Oh, so that's a true variation. Not a variation. Okay, got it, got it. Jonathan Marsh is still energy. Let me put these away, guys. Well, I wanted to be careful just in case it was a base pack, so. But not really since it had the tribute in it. Take any chances. Leon Bergman. Get that. Ovechkin out tonight. Sharks, Liam Bergman. Yeah, Wah, Gretzky, and Mac Daddy. Canvas, Ovechkin. Horizontal. <laughs> Horizontal. Here's another one of Connor. Chris Letang. LA Kings, Matt Roy.
Shooting Stars. We got Pasternak. That's right. Shooting Stars isn't as rare in Series 1. I totally forgot. Synergy. Huberto. Kid was killing it this year. Gunselglagen. I had him on a lot of fantasy teams too. Next year, we're going to do a top notch fantasy league. Nice hit for the buff. Nice YG, Victor Olafson. Nice job, Buffalo. He was on a tear too, man. Jeez. He was born in 95. I mean, he's not that old. Dude, he was killing it, bro. Before he got injured, he was destroying it. Every just non-stop. Guntel, too. Even Victor, man. I'm, had him on every fantasy team, almost. We got next level, Nico the Hish. Nico played good last year, or this year. <clears throat> yeah, Victor needs to go to the Coyotes, bro. Energy, Drew Doughty. You think Taylor Hall is going to sign with the Coyotes? I don't think so. I don't think so. Scott Saburin, Ottawa. Yeah, he's not going to sign. They were just using him for his whatever. Short-term contract, whatever the heck they're doing. Rasmus Ristolin, and that's why they're like, we're not going to talk about any negotiations until after the season. It's it's not even something we're going to mention or talk about. Obviously, we know why. They probably already knew it wasn't going to happen. They didn't want to have to mention it and open up a can of worms. Is he bad off the ice? Patrick Waugh. Uh, nothing's loaded to YouTube, dude, because it was ruining the broadcast. But DVR is on. The DVR is on YouTube. We started doing the uploads right away tonight, and we had nothing but stream issues. We stopped, and we were back to normal. But DBR. Thank you, brother. Kel Salad for MTL. We got another Young Guns Acetate, second one of the case, Carter Verhage, Tampa Bay. First one was exclusives, this one was Young Guns. We got Synergy, Kopitar. Nikita Gusev.
LA Kings, Blake Lazat, YG. TB Portraits, the Koosh. Next Gen, Clayton Keller. Helen Keller's great great grandson. That would have been kind of sad if they never came up with LASIK's eye surgery for Clayton, man. That would have been kind of not very cool. <clears throat> uh, what McDavid card? That's that's not a numbered McDavid card, Herring. That's just an insert. Yeah. We were checking it out, and then uh, it's just an insert. Him, Patrick, Patrick Waugh, Connor, and Gretzky have like an insert series. So, or are you talking about like the numbering on the back? Card number 3030, like the 30 anniversary thing. Yeah, 3030. There you go. Uh, sorry, Tall Dark. I'm sorry, Brandon, if you had another bad weekend. Dude, we're going to get it, Brandon. It's going to come through, bro. I've had it happen so many times where guys were on a bad run and then it just changed. My jerseys are coming up soon anyway, dude. I think you're going to be more, yeah, trust me, dude, it's going to be, you're going to like it. Carson Kuhlman, a lot more chances. Yeah, because it's going to have, I know your team's in there. Of course, everybody's got teams in there, but. We're only doing, I think the first run's like 10 boxes. Or... Patrick Watt insert. I appreciate everything though, man. Be safe out there, brother, and have a good night. Zadina. All right, one of Zahn's favorite players, Rudolph Balsers, future Hall of Famer. Wait, what was that? Energy. JT Jonathan Taze. Double dip for Penzito. Dante Fabro. You should have told Quinn Hughes, hey, Quinn, you want some? Come get some. Lace it up. Wayno Gretzkio on the 30th anniversary set. UD 30-3, Hearn.
you would have been like, hey, sorry to be that guy, but could I get a picture, man? <laughs> then as soon as he takes the picture, hey, do you mind if I have your stick or your jersey? And Joachim Nygaard. Joachim Nygaard. All right, D-Jack, take it easy, bro. Thanks for everything, man. Kusharov, Shooting Stars TV. We got Energy, JD, Jonathan Druin. Wonder where Mr. The Plague has been. You guys remember Mr. The Plague? We got Elias Lindholm. We got Billy Nola Jets. Forgot his name with his screen name. Everybody come down to Oklahoma next Saturday or Sunday, I think it is. Make sure to come down to Oklahoma. We got Next Generation. I think we got a one one after this, too. Miro Hiskinen. Oh, exclusives to 100. My bad. Frankie Vetrano from the Bronx. Hey, yo, Frankie, get over here. We got a jersey. Evgeny Kuznetsov, game used. Oops, wrong stack. Everybody's going to say Quinn. Uh, energy, Tavares. Young Gun Canvas, Dimitro Timoshev for TOR. I think Makar, dude, Makar is a pimp. If he wouldn't have got injured for a little bit or whatever, Tobias Bjorn fought. Tobias Bjornfont, YG. Born in 01. 19. 19 years old. Ryan McDonough, TB Portrait. Connor McDavid, 30 set. Oops, my bad.
Well, we'll be off earlier tonight than we were yesterday. Hey, uh, what's up, Dave? Remember that, Dave? That was so much fun, dude. Oh. Signature Sensations, Brett Kulak. Kulak. For MTL. Dude, that was so much fun. It was really fun in Trilogy. And 1415 Trilogy, that was a blast. People didn't like, some people loved it and some people were like, yeah, but I'd rather see what comes out of each box. Yeah, that's true uh, on that one. But you know what? How many times, Kapoot, have we seen a kid come out of the gate just running like a beast and doing good and that Connor Timmons, and then all of a sudden he fizzles. Sometimes we see the kid who starts out of the gate slow, and then boom, just all of a sudden, he breaks out. You never know, too. But yeah, I hear you on the capo. Oh, did you guys see Panini's website? Uh, did you see the, the new uh, hockey product? Prime? Nick Schmaltz. They have Capo Caco Prime cards and stuff. Yeah, it looks nice, dude. I mean, obviously, it's not a bunch of hockey players, but it's Capo and what other couple guys it is. Still looks good, though. I could random those two teams off. <laughs> Order the packs and then do it random. Between the Rangers and International. <laughs> yeah, product that's already out. Oh, they're both Rangers? All right, we could do a random between Capo and the other guy. Teddy Bluger. We'll do a hit draft. I'll get like 10 packs and we'll do a hit draft. Energy, Roman Yossi. I mean, I like him. It's prime. You know what, dude? I'm starving for prime. That's why. Hirose, Young Guns, Red Wings. Nice one. Is that you, Kapoot? D-E-T? That's two Hirose so far. Dude, if I got National Treasures, we might as well forget breaking anything else. <laughs> Do a 10,000 spot random. Kel McCarr in the portrait. You think they're going to go up? I guess so, because it created a phenomena of it. Yeah, I'll bet some guys bought it early. Bought it right when it came out. We'll hang on to it. But I'll tell you what. If Zion ever gets injured, a lot of people are going to go broke. We got shooting stars, Stamkos.
Dude, I know you haven't been in school in a while, but no. no what do you got? Oh, uh, what's in the news? Thurman Parker. Okay. Thank you, man. I know, dude. I was in such a hurry, bro. <clears throat> He's the next Greg Odom. Oh, that wouldn't be good. I thought he looked pretty good, though, dude. Roman Yossi on the canvas. We got a YG of Zach Senshin for Boston. Zon, did George get any NT? Did George get any? We got portraits, Connor McDavid. Next generation, Peterson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. I, I would have done the same thing. I wouldn't have broke it. Of course, I don't have the, you know, I don't have the massive customer base to break it, like baseball, football. It's like some teams that I have listed for baseball, dude, literally everybody could have it listed $100, and I have it at 40 and it's still sitting in the store. I, I'm not joking. <laughs> We got uh, Milan Lucic. And then we wouldn't sell out any other teams for the whole weekend. <laughs> and then my poor customers would be like, I didn't get nothing. And I'd be like, oh, man, bro. Yeah, I will. No, not for me. Ooh, nice CHI, Dominic Kubelik. Looks nice, too, man. That Kubelik looks super nice. Let's see, put it on this side. Yeah, there we go. Went in nice. Nice job, Greg. Hopefully I have my buybacks on the 26th, Kev. Ilya Mikheyev, YG. Hey, uh, Kev, what do you think the average ROI is on, like, let's say... The Hip Parade Hockey. Is this anything? Is that a variation, guys? That's in front of a portrait, so just curious. You know, like 40%, something like that. Austin Matthews. Uh, bro, mine, mine is like 80, 83 to 84%, bro. Next gen Besser, which means a lot of people will be making money on my boxes, dude. There's going to be plenty of people making money on my boxes. Not all of them, but I mean, think about that, dude. 83%, bro. That's nuts, dude. And that and that is what it is. No joke.
That's going to be pretty exciting, dude. I've been so stoked about it. Yeah, the Series 1 and the regular buybacks, too. <clears throat> the first run might not have some of the guys I wanted to have just because um, it would take too long to get them graded and buying them wouldn't make sense, buying them outright. But they're already getting turned in for the next run later down the road. Martin Fevery, but I'll have the regular buybacks too. 80, 82, 83%. So. <clears throat> yeah, I got a sales sheet. I thought maybe you, you saw it. If you're here at the end of this, which maybe you are, maybe you're not, but I'll show it to you when you're in here. Well, it, here's what the here's what the sales sheet has on the Young Guns product. There's five cases. You're guaranteed one sales sheet hit per box. Five cases. So out of each case, you're guaranteed one of the sales sheet cards, which is Connor McDavid BGS 95, Carey Price BGS 95, Rook uh, Young Gun. These are all Young Guns, of course. Um, Gem Mint 10. I forgot who else. I think it's, a, is it a 10 Eichel? BGS 10 Eichel. Anyway, oh, uh, BGS 95 Patrick Kane Young Gun. Carey Price, 95 BGS. So, in other words, dude, you're guaranteed to have one of those in every single case. Plus whatever Young Guns. <clears throat> guaranteed to have a sales sheet hit. So that's pretty cool. Now the the regular buybacks, that's going to be insane too. <clears throat> I have the sales sheet for that too. Now after that, bro, <clears throat> I'll have a premium product coming out. <clears throat> bro, my cost, my cost will be like 5000 for a case. <clears throat> Think of that, dude. So there's going to be chase cards in there that will probably be worth like four or five grand, dude. <clears throat> Joel Esperance, he did a uh, he did a baseball product. And he put a trout in there that he paid 4000 for it. And it was worth more than that. Jamie Ben. So, yeah, it's, bro, yeah. It's going to be nutty, dude. <clears throat> I think there's Tarasenko, Gem Mint 10, or BGS 9.5. There's a lot of guys, dude. Austin Matthews, BGS 9.5. Let's put it this way, though. Nothing is under a 9.5. It's 9.5 or 10. Nothing under. You will get not one card under a 9.5. We got Series 1 Young Guns Dual Checklist. Jack Hughes and Quinny Hughes. Which is pretty cool, man. You'll never see anything under a 9.5. All teams are represented, every single team. That was really important for me. Red, Roman Yossi, Shooting Stars. I did not want to see, oh, great, I got Minnesota. I'm screwed. You know, I did not want that to happen. <clears throat> I think we got some PLD, maybe a Gem Mint PLD 10, I believe. 
think we've got a Barky Gen Mint 10 or a BGS 10. It's loaded, dude. Uh, there might be a McKinnon 9.5. I'm not sure. Dude, it got put together so fast. Like, we're talking three days. So, not sure. The first run, he's like, this is a great run. Our ROI is about 83%, but <clears throat> the next one will make it even more, way more intense. But everybody's going to like the price point, too. All right, let's see, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, my bad. Ryan Paling, Young Guns Filthiness. There we go. In the regular buyback product, there's McKinnon for sure. And McCarr. Yager, McKinnon. Goes on and on, bro. <clears throat> Austin, Shostin. More than one Connor. Few Connors. <clears throat> Regular product. Auto Connor. BGS Connors. And then the price point. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty good, dude. All right, game used jersey. <clears throat> we got uh, Roberto Luongo. Can you guys tell that I have a new microphone? Is it obvious or does it sound the same? Connor McDavid, speaking of him. I used to have a buzzing sound in the last one. Oh, weird. I did not know that. Definitely louder. Nice. Is it too loud? Vasilvesky, I have it away from me a pretty good amount. Dude, that, that Alonzo is getting submitted, bro. Things of beauty. I think it's going to come out pristine, bro. Yep, he's grading it for sure. Brandon Gignac. I'm, bring, I'm uh, grading Hank's, Hank's uh, Guerrero, and I, I was like, Hank, <laughs> just so you know, there's another one of those getting graded, bro. <clears throat> there will be no switcherooski. I actually think they're both going to come back in the same grade anyway. Yeah, bro. I'll give him my address to send him to. And uh, yeah, you can do them on the next run, man. We'll be doing them all the time. So. Oh, four days? You sure it'll get here in four days? <clears throat> Planned on doing it like Thursday anyway. I mean, I guess I could do it the latest on Friday if it gets here. But then again, it might be, depending on how many cards, it might be a little time consuming. <clears throat> Probably do another one a week later anyway, bro. I don't know, about a week, maybe two weeks. I want to do him consistently because he's going to discount us even more if I keep tournament, you know. <clears throat> we're, well, we're kind of paying the normal amount, but he said for sure.
Vitaly Abramov. No, Arizona. I mean, we're we're not too far from. Well, I don't know. We're a ways from Texas, bro. <clears throat> Last time I flew there, it, didn't, it was not the shortest ride, but it wasn't extremely long either. <clears throat> no, I drove there. My, did we drive there? No, no, we flew. We flew. That's where my son was on the Nationals team. Uh, it was, dude, it was so muggy in Texas. Gosh. Caputo with the via transfer to JJ again, Philippe Myers. Re, uh, transfer through osmosis. Shooting stars, Connor. I think I have a uh, Raleigh fingers. I think it's a seventy-six. And bro, I mean I don't know because it's older, but I think, I think, because I pulled it out of a fresh pack. So it wasn't something I had for a while. It got around. I mean it's. Dude, it literally looks like I just opened a young gun. It's perfect. Centering is right on. But you never know on the older stuff sometimes. But, dude, I hope it's a 10. The last one that was a 10 sold for like 450 Same exact year card. It looks amazing. So we'll see. It's hard to say on those ones. Jesper Boquist. I have a, a Wade Boggs rookie. If I got a 9 or a 9.5 on that one, I'd be happy. Submitting four Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. We got Wayno Gretzkyo. On the 30. And we got Energy, Dylan Larkin. Double dip, nice young guns. Double dip, Victor Olofsson, nice. Bo Horvat for the Couve. Connor McDavid on the anniversary. That'd be sick if that was a one on one. UD thirty twenty eight. Ty Sagan, Portraits. For the Dow. And Osmosis through Caputo to JJ again. Connor, Bunham, and Toast. Flyers, Young Gun again. JJ.
We got an acetate, Nino Niederreiter. You have to admit, I did call it before the break. It's not a YG, so it goes over here. Energy, Sidney Crosby. Canvas, Colin White. Young Gun, Zach McEwen. Coov. <laughs> Johnny Goudreau last pack of the box yeah I've pulled uh, quite a few Bunham and Toast so far we got Rasmus Dalin, next gen. Pulled the Nacetate, young gun. Uh, I think it was, uh, was it not Morgan Frost. I forgot who it was. What? I think it was Bunham and Toast. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it was exclusive, yeah. Clear cut exclusive. It was Caputo Mojo carried over from last night. And then Caputo transferred it to JJ via osmosis. Energy Lion A. And here we go, Rasmus Sandine. Nice, very nice. Sure, it goes in perfect. Next gen, Colin White. We got a portrait, Eric Stahl. Young Guns, The Cliff, Connor, The Cliff, Clifton, Shooting Stars, Morgan Riley. T-O-R.
We got energy. That is David Pasternak. Energy Cam Atkinson. Cam Pimpin, you ain't tripping. Canvas, Mr. Brady Shea, range. Oops, didn't put the YG in a TL. Subbarine. We got a canvas dual checklist between Connor and Obi. Caps are going to Joe, and the oil is going to Hearn. Yeah, good luck, Hearn and Joe. Uh, for CBJ, we've got Vladislav Gavrikov. insert of Wayno Gretzkyo. We got a portraits of Nate Doggy Dog, Nathan McKinnon. What was this one here? Look at Johnny. Johnny's like, bring it. Thirteen fourteen for sure. I used to like thirteen fourteen young guns. I like the look of this. Connor McDavid. It says nineteen twenty, that's not oh that must have been when the card was done, but wouldn't you love to open a case of thirteen fourteen uh series one? You know what I was thinking of getting was uh, some 13 or 15, 16, uh, 10, uh, Series 1 tins. At least they're a little bit more affordable. Mario Ferraro. Do a random on it so that way everybody's got a chance for the Connor. And dude, I must say, bro, and this is this is a fact. I think everybody will say this and agree with it. A nice Miro Hiskinen jersey generation X is that for some reason 1516, dude, there was a lot of Connor McDavid pulled in retail. A lot. Am I right or no? I know I did a couple times. Now I'm regretting not having it. Yeah, Jimmy, we got <clears throat> another Vlad Guerrero, base rookie, and a Pete, Alon Pete Alonzo, refractor auto. No scratches. Surface looks great, dude. Everything looks awesome. Two Guerrero base rookies and the Alonzo. And, of course, your brother's uh, Shohei. Capo, Caco, Adam Fox. Nice. Young Gun Canvas Checklist Duel. Very cool. Yeah, there was a lot. So I, I wouldn't mind getting some retail at 1516. <clears throat> Series 1. Just do a random on it. 
I would love to get some Ico Young guns graded. <clears throat> some Connors. Who else we got in 13, 14? I mean 15, 16. Dylan Larkin. Who else am I missing, guys? Patrick Waugh. Yeah, <clears throat> I hear what you're saying. But we could even do like a 310, a 310 random or something. 410s, 510s, something like that. Oh, uh. Medvedev! Medvedev! It'd be fun to relive that, too. <clears throat> Stromy? Yeah, maybe I'll buy a couple retail tins or something. Won't be that expensive doing it random style. Somebody has, everybody has a chance at the Connor. Brady Keeper? Or the Eichel? Wait, Eichel Series 2, right? Is Eichel's gotten series two? Am I or am I wrong? <clears throat> series two, that's right. Maybe I'll do a series one, series two combo. Random. Next gen. Carter Hart. Nothing that's outrageously expensive because you know how we do with randoms. I mean, some, it's pretty tough for us. So, if it's something that's affordable and everybody's got a chance, that, that would work out. That way we have a chance with Eichel. Now, Connor's uh, canvas is in Series 2, though, right? Portraits, Jack Eichel. I just want Medvedev. Will you be my Medvedev? Won't you please? Won't you please be my Medvedev? Hello, neighbor. Ooh, McDavid acetate. That would have to be a uh, hobby, though. Yeah, Series 2, get hobby, and then S1, get retail. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So I'll look into that. Uh, look into that for the weekend or tomorrow. Jimmy Schultz, Young Guns. I think it would be kind of fun. It it definitely have to be random though. Definitely, Jonathan Taze. There's no question about it. We got here is this a one on one? We got a one on one for the Canes, Bobby Holick. Bobby Holick, and that is the Canes. Who is Henry? Nice, Henry. There you go. Go, old guys. Twenty one and twenty one goals, twenty two assists, twenty one and twenty two, twenty one and twenty four, forty five points. Burnsy energy. Matt Roy for L A K. <clears throat> 
We got a canvas, Patrice Bergeron. Bergey. <clears throat> Energy, Ryan O'Reilly. STL. He used to think he was like. I you gotta give it up for Eichel though. He's been on fire, dude. For the coyotes, Clayton Keller. That's a sick photo of Clayton. I remember I was hoping the coyotes would pick Debrinket. I remember I was like, and they took the third pick. I was like, what? How did the Coyotes not take the Brinkett, dude? Why would they do that? I'm like, that's it. He's going to go the next pick after us. He's going to go. And then he didn't go, and he didn't go, and he didn't go. And I'm like, what is going on? A lot of you guys that were live in the draft heard me saying it. I was like, come on, Debrinket. Please let him get his third pick. <clears throat> Libor Hayek, Young Guns. I was just in shock. <clears throat> Everybody kept telling me he's too small. He's too small. And I'm like, bro, I don't know. Anybody that's scoring 100 plus points in the juniors, and I don't care if it's juniors, he's got to have some type of talent, dude. <clears throat> Not that we haven't seen someone be killer and come out of the juniors and flop, but I don't know. I had a feeling about this kid. We got uh, Max Jones. Yeah, everybody used to say that too. He It's because he played with McDavid. Now, I'm sure McDavid made his game better. But the last year, he had no McDavid. His last year. Everybody's like, yeah, if I had McDavid passing to me too, I'd be scoring 100 points too. But it's like, wait a minute. He had the scoring title or point record or whatever the last year without McDavid. Bueno. <clears throat> That's when I was really like, okay, I want this kid. I wish the Coyotes would have took him. What did we pick? Dylan Strom instead, right? <clears throat> I think we picked Strom instead. Yeah, they were the same class, I believe, yeah. Yeah, that's when I was really like, oh, man, this kid's destroying it. Oh, that's the Keller year. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Keller, or uh, Strom was the Connor year. Okay, that's right. We just got done talking about it, actually, right? Strom, I, I think Strom was a better fit in uh, <clears throat> in Chicago, though. Nice card. Looks good. If any of you guys remember how I used to get so pissed <clears throat> when they wouldn't put Max Domi in. They would just let him sit on the bench or put him down <clears throat> to the HL, the juniors. I'm like, dude, we're in last place. Let the kid in and let him go. Just let him go. I feel like they put so much pressure on him that he wasn't relaxed and playing his game. It was like, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Have you ever had that coach that was so hard that actually makes you play worse than you, than you play better? Cause all you're wondering is going to yell at you and you don't want to screw up and then get you screw up more because of it. 
I've had that happen. It's like, dude, you're making me like walking on eggshells. I'm afraid to even make a move. <clears throat> I felt like they did that to Max Domi. And they even did it to Strom a little bit. But Strom had a legitimate slow start. But still, what are we going to do? Get in last place even more? <clears throat> I felt like put the kid in, let him go. Just let him go. Get the ner He won't have the nerves in his system if there's not that same pressure on him. He'll play better. But I think he was like, screw this place. I don't even want to be here anymore. Even though he didn't talk like that because, you know, Domi's a professional kid. <clears throat> but still, I was like, this kid's not going to want to stay here anymore. I don't know. There's not many players that do. Edmonton Oilers. Quinn Hughes and now Jack Hughes, back to back. Literally back to back. Same box? Oh, no, one box after the other. <clears throat> Hughes, bros. Yeah, I'd say it's gradable. I'd have to get under the light on this one, bro, a little bit more. But, yeah, I would say so. Those I'm going to have to put in the light more. The shiny is a little bit easier because it's nice and shiny. But from the, the eye view, it looks pretty good. Yeah, let's see. This actually looks pretty decent. Actually looks pretty good, dude. I mean, again, still need to be in the light for to really make sure, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You have that little, it's almost like, it's a tad little, almost like a bend. It's hard to explain, but I don't know about calling it a bend. But yeah, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. What's another one? Uh, Kevin Stenlin. There's another uh, series that was so hard to come out right. I mean, you could be the most perfect pack opener, dude. Did not matter. Uh, was it was it Trilogy? No, I forgot what year it was for SB Authentic. It was just brutal. I forgot the year. Yeah, kind of like a chipping, yeah. That one looked good, though, dude. I will say that looked good. Look under the light a little bit more. Stamkos, shiny star red. But from the regular eye, looks good. Fifteen sixteen had really nice crisp. Fifteen sixteen was pretty crispy. Clear-cut foundation. Boy, the Canes had a 101. Now an acetate clear-cut. Sick. Here, let me get the clear-cut in there. Can't see. Let me get the light. 
There we go. Uh, is this numbered? Aho and Sveji. Yeah, fifteen sixteen was pretty crispy. Yeah, definitely. Keynes is uh, Henry. So he had a one one and that acetate, not bad for seven bucks. Energy, Kush. Oops. We got Jimmy Schultz. Some new sleeves out. I remember the last PSA run that I had, dude. I had a dude, I maybe had out of like thirty cards. I maybe had two nines, three nines total. Of course, it is PSA, but... <laughs> Too easy. I'm going to be stoked to get SGC back and do a, having a schedule a night for an opening. Definitely going to be a night where I'm not breaking, though. Send a mailer out four or five days in advance, three days in advance, whatever. Uh, Canvas Latang, Chris. It'd be so nice to walk into like. Walmart and there's like a stack of prism uh, basketball there. Imagine if you walk into Walmart and the just got filled up with prism basketball blasters and you're like, oh my gosh, and you go over there and then you feel your, your pants pocket and you realize you don't have your wallet. <laughs> you left it in the car. Oh no. You're like, hey, uh, ma'am, could you can you hold this for me? I forgot my wallet in my car. <laughs> Dude, I literally would have kept those in a grocery cart and called my wife and said, hey, go in the car and get my wallet. <laughs> I would not have left them abandoned whatsoever, not even for a minute. Tarasenko. The Bowman, too. I don't know if the Bowman. You know what I noticed? I watched a lot of videos on the 2019 Topps Chrome. Quite a few. Fernando Tatis and uh, Guerrero's. And Alonso's got pulled in the retail. Same thing like the Connor. It was a trip. Young Guns, Connor Clifton. And they had those nice pink... Uh, pink parallels you could get too. Those are nice. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, Target had three pink bonus cards. And then Walmart had five uh, pink bonus cards in the 2019 tops chrome and this guy he kept getting all these packs from walmart and he's like hey the reason i like the walmart ones is that you get five pink cards so he he didn't get nothing rookie wise nothing on the pinks 
So he bought all that he could. They were sold out. And he goes to Target. Boom, dude. One pack Tatis. Another pack Guerrero. Like, even though it had two less cards on the pink, he was getting much better hits. And I thought, well, might be a weird thought. Maybe it's watered down because it's only got three. Who knows? And Caputo does it again via JJ. Philippe Myers for the Flyers. Caputo just does not stop. Caputo using his Jedi techniques. We got Mikkel Botker. How's Bods doing? Gosh, seven goals, 28 points. That's it. Dang, bro. I mean, he's got talent. He just could never get over that 20 goal mark. He was always just can't, couldn't get over the 20 goals. I mean, we loved him in Arizona, but it's like, I don't know what it was. He just fell short. Oops, sorry. He fell short all the time. Is Antoine Vermette still playing? Does anybody know if Vermette's playing still? I liked Vermi too. Vermi was one heck of a face-off guy, man. He was he was great at face-offs. Yeah, he's getting up there. He did really well for Chicago during that run or whatever. He was a good little piece of the puzzle there. It's crazy how much faceoffs can can help you uh, win games. I mean, obviously, you're taking possession of the puck that much more. Gaetan Haas. Oil. That's what I never understood about kids in high school with volleyball. They throw the ball way up in the air and just whack it as hard as they could to look cool. I can look, at, I can, I can look how cool I am. And they would go over and make it in. Two out of ten times, I'd say about 20%. It's like, bro, if you're going to make it two out of ten times, like my son has an amazing jump float, dude. And it's like a knuckleball coming at you, bro. And it doesn't look like it's coming very fast, bro. It dips so hard. And it just, it's like this, dude. And you'll see people that can't return it. And they're like, oh, God, he's not even hitting that hard. That's weird. And then you'll hear people go, oh, dude. And then I went to play beach with him. We practiced at the beach. And I was like, damn, dude, no wonder. I was like, man, no wonder people don't return that serve very well. What was this? This was, I forgot what year this was. 17, 18? 16, 17? Martin Fevery. Ancestors are responsible for the Spanish flu. Shooting stars, Brendan Gallagher. And 
we got Jamie Ben. Mackenzie McKetchen. Car canvas on the transfer. Tanner Pearson for the Cove. What was the what was the bets tonight? I don't think anybody placed any bets tonight. We got canvas PLD. Yeah, R O W E. And we got Acetate Jean Gabriel Pajot. He was doing pretty good too. I like Pajot. Ottawa, Senatros. Next gen, Lion A. Portraits, Fabro, and the 30th anniversary series, Pimp Daddy number two, Patrick Waugh. Or one of the Pimp Daddies, I should say. Leon Dion Drysaddle. Oh, uh, we got Nathan Bastion. Ah, place your bets, baby. <laughs> that was for Nico. Uh, Energy Dustin Bufflin, WPJ. Twelve AM. Nice, very nice. Ryan Paling again, double dip. Yeah, this is really sucks uh putting black border on cards too. I hate black borders. Black black borders. Especially fatties, man. It ain't easy to grade fatties, period. It's just, it's just not. We got Connor McDavid. Canvas. Two potential randomizers. Unless we get another young gun... Uh, Young Gun Checklist, the standard. Leon Bergman, Young Gun with SJ. Okay, am I out of, uh, I think I'm out of regulars. Let's see if I got some right here.
Gotta grab some real quick, guys. Sorry. This will finish us off. All right, final box. Here we go. I wonder how much longer Ca uh, Capo has with Panini. Prism Baseball next week. Pretty sure it's next week. I hope so. I don't even care. Prism's cool because of the color. You know, even if we're not logoed up. I can't wait for uh, Ginter. I love Ginter. Synergy. I think uh, I think I might be able to get a couple of cases of Ginter. Try putting a reserve on those. Texier, finally. Alexander Texier, Young Guns. Yeah, they were with Leaf for a while. And what uh, what Leaf did there for a minute is they started um, his like his cards. They were charging two hundred bucks for him to do an on card auto, and you could send like a future watch in for that, for example. And if you paid two hundred, he would on card sign it. They would put a little Leaf. Um, cert on the back, tiny little leaf cert, and send it back to you. If you wanted a sticker, I think it was 75. I might be not exact on the numbers, but they did that for a while. Which was smart of leaf, of course, but but I don't know how, how long Capo is going to be there. But yeah, leaf keeps trying to snag everybody. Oh, Clutch, I didn't even see you there, Clutch. I'm sorry. You know, Clutch, I'm not very good on basketball values. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know enough. But, uh, yeah, sorry I didn't see you up there. I didn't see Clutch up in the YouTube chat. Another Ilya Mikheyev. Nice. I got a few Ilya Mikheyev YGs. A Giannis rookie. What is that? Rookie Prism or Energy Parisi? Oh, I know, the Pearl. Dude, they do a good job. I mean, I like Leaf Ultimate. And matter of fact, I almost got, and I might get, some 15, 16 Leaf Ultimate, dude. It's actually a pretty good product. Upper deck canvas, Coke and Yemi. I was going to get some superlative, which is insane. But man, it flew up to like 200 bucks a box or something. Gretzky. Leaf Ultimate. Uh, the, is it Ultimate we just had? Yeah. It's up to 200 a box, I think, right now. That didn't take long. Connor Hellebuck.
Nathan Bastion. We got Jack Eichel. Speaking of Eichel. I can get more Breakers Row, but that's the end of Breakers Row. I just didn't like how there wasn't enough. And you know what? The lower end product that... The lower end... Cody Glass. Nice. Cody. Vegas. The lower end product that Hit Parade has is actually gives a lot more love to other teams. A lot more. I dig that product. The lower end Hit Parade. The limited. It spreads it around a lot more. To Karask. Connection. I think that Panini should do next gen Kyle Connor. I think Panini should do a flawless hockey. Just like they do baseball. Flawless hockey. Baseball still has a great resale value on flawless, even without the logo. Have the little suitcase. Jonathan Tay's nice acetate for Chicago. Nice one, Greg. Yeah, I think I might pick up some 15, 16. Energy. Ovechkin. What happened to your connection clutch? Pecker Rene Canvas. I thought the box prices went down this year, though. Very nice young gun Chicago again, Greg. Dominic Kubelik. But maybe that's why it seems like you're getting less. Is that like, what is it? Uh, SP Game Use is like 90, 90, 99, right? Now, SPA, that's a, di dude, that's a different story. That went up a lot, bro. It, I mean, the market made it go up. Like crazy, dude. Yeah. That's it, guys. Let me do the recap. Yeah, I know, dude. I want to get some next week. I'm going to try. But then again, ice is out. So there's really kind of no point in trying. Oh, no, that's not necessarily true. It'll, st it'll still be sought after no matter what. At least I think it will be anyway. I was just going to say, yeah, I, when I said that for a second, I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Hopefully I can get my hands on it. No, it's not going to be cheap if I can, but oh well, still be worth it. 
Good luck, guys. Game use jersey, Kreider, Faxa, Kuznetsov, Lucic, Luongo, Miro Hiskin, Generation X, uh, Michael Furland, and Cam Atkinson. Oh, I know, the ice. I like ice, though, but when you pull those patch ones out, ah. Oh. Nino Niederreiter, Canes, Clear Cut Foundations, Ajo and Sveji, Acetate, uh, Jean Gabriel Pajot, Ottawa, and JT, Jonathan Taze, AK Jive Turkey. And we got uh, exclusives to 100, Alex Kalorn TV. Frankie Vitrano from the Bronx to 100. And we got a 101 for the Canes. That is Bobby Holick. One of one for the Canes. Canes had a good break. Two nice acetates and a 101. And Otto, Brent Kulak for MTL. I'll do those randoms here in a sec, guys. It's Holik, 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 Holik. Vegas, that's Nico. Nico. Yeah, Canaris' his brother. Canaris. Yeah. It's <laughs> All right, guys, do the random here in a sec. I'll go through these real quick. All right, Young Gun Canvas, Gusev, Connor Cliff. Dimitri, uh, Timoshov, Kubalik, nice one, Joey Decord, and Capo Caco, Adam Fox, Checklist, Young Gun, Canvas. Oh, yeah, my handwriting was brutal, dude. We got uh, Carter Verhege, Acetate Young Gun. Then we got some fly. Just a little recap of the fly. Connor Bunham and Toast exclusive Young Gun Acetate. Philippe Myers. Connor Bunham and Toast. Bunham and Toast. And Carson Twarinski. One, two, three, four, five. Fly. It was kind of interesting to see how many fly we got again. Uh, Gignac, Wignac, Abramov. Oquist, Olafson, McEwen, Sandine, Clifton, Savorin, Gavrikov, Ferraro, Kale Fleury, Brady Keeper, Jimmy Schultz, Matt Roy, Hayek, Jones, he Quinn Hughes, Jack Hughes, S Stenland, Savorin, Fleury, Lazat, Kuhlman, Balsers, Texier, Mikheyev, Bornfot, Bastion, Glass, Kubalik, Hayek, Hayek, Fabro, Brown, Kuhlman, Gaetan Haas, Nico Sturm, Bergman, 
Uh, we got uh, Matt Roy, Olafson, Jimmy Schultz, You're Taken, Clifton, Philippe Myers. Oh, I forgot one. Gaetan Haas, Fevery, McKetchern, Bastion, Paling, Bergman, and Fabro. Flyers might have matched last night, maybe. Nygaard, Nola, Bjornfot, Timmins, Bluger, Hirose, Lazat, Senshin, Mikheyev, Fevery, Verhage, Lesperance, Paling, Timmins, Fox, Hirose, and Senshin. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we might have. No, I don't know if we tied it, tied the record or not. Close anyway, I think. All right. So we got. Order was pulled, is this one. So we got Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes. We got one, two, three, Jack, four, five, six, Quinn. Going to Jack. Looks like my cam tripod's getting a little loose. There we go. No, nah, Kaput didn't get him this time. He gave, uh, he let JJ have a chance. Helped him out via osmosis. <clears throat> we got Canvas, uh, one, two, three, Connor, four, five, six, Ovi. Connor. Well, I don't know if we have any more orders coming in for the jersey sold out or what. <laughs> Thank you guys for a series.